Let's look at this diagram. Angle E and angle G are interior opposite angles. Angle G plus angle E equals 180 degrees. We have just learned about this. Now, note that when we add up angle G and angle P, we also get 180 degrees because they are on a straight line. Angle G plus angle E equal 180 degrees. Angle G plus angle P equals 180 degrees. So, angle E must equal angle P. This is how we remember this point. First, we note the exterior angle. Then, we find the interior angle next to the exterior angle. Then, we find the interior angle that is opposite the interior angle in step 2. And these two angles are equal. Find x and y. Let's find x first. x is an interior angle in a cyclic quadrilateral. Now let's look at this exterior angle of 105 degrees. The interior angle next to the exterior angle is this. And the opposite angle of this interior angle is x. In this case, x is 105 degrees. Next, let's find y. 2y and 120 degrees are interior opposite angles. When we add them up, we get 180 degrees. So 2y is 180 minus 120. y is 60 over 2. And y is 30 degrees.